Okay guys, so in this rant today, we're gonna to be talking about the problems and the things that suck about being a female or girl guitarist. So one of my students recently uh, released an EP uh, under the name of Cerulean. Her name is Nerily, she's a lovely girl. She writes some really, really cool, interesting, psychedelic uh, rock. Some of it's a bit shreddy, some of it's a bit bluesy. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things, if she's a pretty girl to some people, the rest of that other crap doesn't matter. And um, she sort of got semi-stalked by this guy and he was sending her flirtatious messages. And she's like, look, I've got a boyfriend. If you're interested in my music, um, you know, here's the place where you can get it. And he's like, I love you. I think you're great. You know, please, uh, you know, I'm waiting. And it was all, you know, kissy faces and other weird stuff. And, um, you know, in other situations, she was, uh, she was telling me that, you know, she was telling people, I don't want to be flirted with. This isn't cool. You know, can you just listen to the music? And then people would get defensive. And I've seen this in, uh, in so many situations, uh, not just in the guitar community, but in, in regular pickup and uh, male-female interaction, uh, where someone, well, a male will walk into a situation trying to talk to a girl and they'll be like, hey, this is my pickup style. And when a girl's like, no, set, no, no, thank you, I'm not interested. They're like, fuck you, you know, this is what I wanted to get out of this interaction and you're not giving it to me. And, um, you know, it's it's so pathetic to watch. And I feel uh, my heart goes out to all of the girls that are going through this and that have had to deal with that. Um, you know, I look at guitarists like Tina S, Yvette Young, uh, Sarah Longfield, and there was, I can't remember her name. I think she was a Welsh or British chick. I can't remember. She did a cover of, um, it was like Highway Star or Black Star. It might've been an Ingve Malmsteen song. And, uh, you know, there were comments like, you know, this has got, so many views because she has a vagina or something ridiculous like that. And I was like, shit, you know, how many times uh, has someone discriminated against, you know, your penis as a guitarist? Like, oh, that guy's only where he is because he's holding a guitar and he has a penis. Or like, he's really good as a male guitarist. And another thing that I've noticed is just the absolute onslaught of um, marriage proposals that comes through. And it must be so annoying for these girls um, to have to deal with this constantly. And I don't say this as someone who's a feminist. There's a lot of things that I think modern day feminist uh, feminism I don't agree with and I'm not, I'm not coming at it from that angle. I'm looking at it as a community where regardless of your gender, we need to be treating each other equally and we need to make it uh, you know, an exciting and creative fun place where girls aren't at a point where they're just like, What's the point if I write a really amazing song and someone's going to con comment on, you know, um, my eyeliner or my hair or any of that shit? Um, so it just really breaks my heart. So I think if you see any of this, like, uh, sleazy sexism in the community, I think calling people out on it is uh, a really, really important thing that we can all do to, you know, start trying to change the paradigm of the way that we interact as males. Uh, with female guitarists, uh, female guitarists watching, feel free to share any horror stories in uh, in the comment section as well. Um, I just want to make this community a safer and more exciting place for those up and coming young lady guitarists. And we don't need to call them female guitarists anymore. We're just all guitarists without genders. Anyway, alas, you guys have a, a good shredding afternoon. I'll catch you guys all very soon.